Hello everybody, welcome to the last Epoch video. Today I'm giving my thoughts on the game. And I'm right off the bat, I'm just going to say, man, this game is really overhyped. And that's not to say that the game is bad, it's just overhyped. You got people saying that the end game is better than the Path of Exile. You got to come to, um, to reality here. <laughs> like, the end game is okay. It's better than Diablo 4, but better than Path of Exile? Absolutely not. Now let's take a look at the game itself. Just so I kind of give you my thoughts on it. The campaign was decent. Um, it's just a campaign. I don't really care much for stories. In these type of games, action RPG, I you just want to get through. Unless the um, something in the dialogue, they got some cutscenes, something that catches my eye and gets me more interested in the story. But um, I really didn't pay too much attention to the story, so I'm not going to grade it on that. But um, definitely the game was overhyped. Once I reach the end game, you know, you really start to uh, feel the repetitiveness of these uh, monoliths. So essentially, uh, essentially the game is, you get to the end game, you complete the campaign, you enter the end of time, and you complete all of these monoliths in different timelines, and that unlocks empowered timelines, which allows you to do these empowered monoliths uh, to find loot. And then ultimately, like, I guess like the vast part of the end game is probably going to be the arena um, leaderboards and all that kind of stuff. Um, they got a good idea. I mean, like, for a full game release, this is already miles ahead of Diablo 4. Um, definitely not better than Path of Exile. And um, I feel like people are overhyping the game uh, more than what it really is. And I think that's just how it is nowadays. Is what is it called? FOMO. FOMO, and then of course, you know, people doing the streaming and YouTube as a job, and they want um, to get good deals with the developers and things of that nature. You know, they don't want to say. I would say that it can probably skew their um, of them being honest. And I think a lot of people were overhyping Last Epoch. And that's just my opinion, but if you look at the core game, we're looking at the core game, you complete your timelines for the end game, you start doing monoliths. And here's the first problem. You cannot edit these monoliths uh, nodes with any kind of crafting materials. So I can't change the modifiers of the enemies or the player modifiers unless you get like one of those reroll things, you can kind of like reactivate them um, you can add corruption which makes them drop more rarity in the loot you get more experience but you know to what end really um, because to a certain point you start getting your uh, I believe you start getting t7 drops more frequently and of course you know since you're just running through these as quickly as possible hit the chest onto the next until you get enough corruption and fight the boss you get loot and um, it does kind of get kind of boring if you ask me um, it's definitely not better than Path of Exile and I'm just going to do one of these just kind of to show you guys um, while I'm loading in I would like to say that they've done an incredible job on the skills uh, the skill tree and the passive tree is uh, really good actually um, essentially you know you can play the game pretty blind without a guide and you probably will have a pretty decent build like generally don't have to use a build guide to get through the campaign or um, monoliths I mean I would say that I'm pretty um, an advanced player in action RPGs and um, you know I understand that you're gonna need resistances and what to look for in items and things of that nature but I think for the most part they did a great job on um, the build diversity of the game and the itemization so I would say that off the, off the bat is really good good things but um, definitely not you know the top dog of action RPGs let's just put it that way now what it comes down to is that you're doing these maps each time they have like these little objectives that you have to complete and um, it just kind of gets bored. 
because you know you're just running through and the monsters are getting tougher but you can't re-roll um, maps you can't uh, you can't really do any of that kind of stuff so it's just like there's no additional uh, mechanics on these maps that you can do outside of the uh, maybe the exiled mages for the most part you're just running to the little objective through it and getting your loot as quickly as possible and uh, I've done quite a bit of these and it's really starting to get to the point where it's like you can tell like when you feel like you're doing just the same thing over and over and it's just like that feeling you know and it's really hard to hit that feeling in the path of exile because there's so so much stuff you can do with the atlas tree that you can just switch it up and do something entirely different and uh, it's like almost an entire different game when you change the mechanics that you interact with. And that's not to say that the developers can't make the game better in the future, but in its current form, it's definitely overhyped. Um, it's a decent game, but it's not as good as it's hyped up to be. Like this uh, amazing game that's like better than Path of Exile. I mean, that's kind of going crazy, if you ask me. But um, essentially, you know, we're doing all this to to uh, try to get on the leaderboards and whatnot. I guess that could be an objective, but to what end? There's not really any items that I've seen that's like the um, Headhunter or the Mage Blood, Mirror Palantra type of hype. You know, when you find those kind of items, you will literally jump out of your seat. Like, you will jump out of your seat when you find them. Uh, those items. When I found my first mirror, the Caladra, I literally uh, jumped out of my seat and was just running around like just yelling. Like, I couldn't believe that I finally got that drop. And there's still some drops that I've never gotten, uh, like Mage Blood, Headhunter, I've never dropped those. But there's not a, really a, like a chase item in this game. You know, like the uniques kind of drop in a similar fashion to uh, like Diablo. Now I don't, I don't like that feeling, right? It's a feeling of when the unique drops. It's like, eh, eh, another unique, another exalted item. Does it have what I want? Okay, no. Does it have what I want? Yes, okay, great. I'll put it in my inventory. The uniques? Kind of have that feeling. It's just like, oh, does it have LP? Okay, it has LP. Great. I can use it. Uh... Can I sell an auction house for gold? Yes. But it's gold. Uh, gold. I, I don't care much for gold. Gold is so easy to get. Um, so there's not that wow factor to delete. And uh, that's like a big thing for me. So like this, look. Nothing. There's, I feel like there's no loot that's going to make me... Uh, like, oh my god, such an amazing item, right? You know, I feel like there's no loot that gives that wow factor. So that's like the two things that's missing. So the end game is repetitive. Not really any wow factor loot. Um, I mean, the uniques, they, they drop way too often that you can't be excited, right? It's just like, oh, I, I got what I needed or... I mean, even if I got an item that was worth a million gold, I'd be like, a million gold, okay, wow. <laughs> uh, you find the items you need, oh, I guess the LP, you slam the exalted loot on it, makes it legendary, but uh, I just don't know. Uh, I'm not feeling it for the end game. Um, hopefully in the future they can, uh, they can really capture that end game, the wow factor of the loot, because I want to have the feeling of I don't know if you guys can relate, but like when you're playing uh, Path of Exile or Diablo 2, when you find high runes, uh, you find divine orbs, you find uh, all of this stuff, these crafting materials, scarabs, um, these are investments. Like, like you, you put them in your inventory, you keep them forever, whether it goes to standard or it's the league, but it's like investment. You can always come back, you log back in, people are like, man, I want that item. Can I buy that item? 
In this game, it's just like you got gold, and it's like <laughs> you just buy everything with gold. And the trading system is kind of gated behind this grinding. Like, bros, I play games a lot, and this is crazy how long it took to get this. And most of the people that say, like, oh, it's easy. You just do this uh, favor, you just buy stuff, and quick guide. I'm like, no, this is not quick. Um, like, I play games a lot. I do have a job. But um, a lot of the people who just play a for a living are, are, are saying that it's like super, super easy no this is like some this is like some Korean gaming grinding right here just to trade this is some hardcore grinding this I remember I kept looking at it I was like holy cow why is this going so slow and I was spending all my favor I was just monolith at the monolith at the monolith and it finally you know got to the point where I can buy things that I need and it's just like oh, dude they really need to revamp the trading. This doesn't need to take this long. This is insane. Now I can kind of understand that maybe they're trying to combat um, arm tiers and stuff like that. But man, you're hurting that the regular players to try to like make arm tiers stop. They're not going to stop. They get paid to sit there and just farm and grind and run bots and stuff. Like, they don't care how long it takes. So this is actually just hurting the regular players. You may be um, delaying the inevitability of arm tiers, but you're not stopping it. Um, the other thing is you can do COF, which is kind of like your SSF of the game. Like you can just find your loot instead of buying it and trading. But um, yeah, I don't know if you guys relate to that. Like, do you guys feel like you uh, want your loot? To, like your investment in the game to be something you can collect like in every game that I've played like it's either an MMORPG or an action RPG like Diablo 2 and uh, Path of Exile loot that I collect has keeps its value right so I can uh, I can trade mirrored items I can have items that are legacy or I can log in Path of Exile right now and sell my gear it like the time invested never goes away like I have I've like you log in you know that your account all this stuff is worth this much divines because of the amount of time you spent in it and whether it goes to standard or not you can sell it you can buy the gears you can collect other legacy gears or just you know you have your infinite delving and all that stuff you got your leaderboards um, with pet poe ninja but like in this game you don't really have that that feeling man I don't, I don't the gold is too worthless like you get gold too easily it's like like I, I don't know I, I, I had like a million gold I had almost two million gold and I was just buying stuff off the auction house it was like gold is too easy it's not like something that you feel like you can collect right of course you can do like the gambas and all that stuff with the gold but it's just not there's no I, I, that's, I can't find that chase item in the game I've looked at all the uniques and I just don't see it but nonetheless I think the game is okay it's a pretty decent game definitely overhyped um, I would probably give it a 7 out of 10 way better than Diablo for sure this is miles ahead of Diablo um, and it will only get better from here as they add seasonal content they're going to add more stuff they probably have a ton of ideas they want to implement into the game so it's only going to get better from here but in this current form it is mediocre and it's overhyped but I do suggest that you guys play Last Epoch because it is a fun game and uh, yeah, I've had a good time but there has it has reached a point where I'm just like bro I'm just running through these maps Monolith, 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 objective, objective, loot, loot, loot. Okay, okay, what am I doing? I don't really care for the leaderboard. <laughs> uh, just, I guess I'll end it there. I mean, I mean, I've already explained why it's not capturing for me, but it has reached that point where I'm just like noticing that I'm just like, I'm just doing the same thing over and over. I'm not able to modify 
the monoliths and it's just like oh and every item that I get in, I just don't feel the value of my time invested right but that's that uh, we may try some different builds um, but I'm not sure how much longer I'm gonna play but it has been a decent game I played over 100 hours of last epoch just to get a feel for it and uh, decent game overhyped but decent all right well until next time guys peace out let me know in the comments do you guys want any build guides or anything for this like i don't know if i should do a build guide uh, i don't know if people will watch i don't know if you guys would watch i don't know if you guys are even liking last epoch so let me know in the comments like the video and uh comment below what you want to see and uh yeah we'll try to make more videos for you guys that's my thoughts on Last Epoch. Until next time, peace out.